Hello, and welcome to the ITC Year in Review, brought to you by Tech News. We had a wonderful school year at ITC that saw our students and faculty accomplish so much. Here are just some of the highlights. Earlier this year, our new P-TECH students got to meet their mentors from manufacturing companies. These companies include Lockheed Martin, Darko Manufacturing, and National Grid. Since these companies are involved in engineering projects, they came to ITC to help the P-TECH students with their futures. Maybe one of our students will end up working with these companies in the future. Learning doesn't stop at the door at ITC. This year, super entrepreneurship is being taught by Ms. Fersenito, not only to ITC students, but to students from all high schools utilizing distance, learning equipment, and the resources of the library embedded by Mr. Sahoski. Students enrolled in the class at Corcoran and Henniger took a field trip to ITC for the class to meet face-to-face -face and have a chance to talk with several ITC instructors about the entrepreneurial interest in the areas of art with Ms. Molesky, auto with Mr. Shepard, culinary with Ms. Parvis, and media with Mr. Lisi. Members of the ITC Digital Multimedia class had the opportunity to work with Lindsay Oates of iHeartMedia to develop an awareness campaign for the Syracuse City School District's new code of conduct. Focus on the restorative power of the program to provide hope, help, and resources to the students. They also got the chance to visit the iHeartMedia station and got to meet Kenny D and many more. The campaign concluded with the students sharing radio spots and posters including the tagline, Discover Your Best Me in the SESD. Our posters hung down by the library throughout a portion of the year. Take a look at some of the posters and listen to one of the radio spots. Hey, who just scored? I believe that was Chris from SCSD. What's SCSD? Oh, it stands for Syracuse City School District. What's it like there? I love it. You can be your best me. Because if you need help with anything in school or in your personal life, there's always support. Cool. Well, may the best team win. All 35 Syracuse City Schools promote learning in a welcoming, safe, and academically challenging environment. Discover your best me in the SCSD. Chef Eric Rose came to ITC this year to give culinary students a demonstration to teach them skills used in the kitchen. During his demonstration, Chef Eric Rose told students important information that can make or break their meals, including what to cook first due to their heating speeds and what will work best if cooked first. He also gave students advice on what to do if they're forget to forget an ingredient. ITC held the 2015 CTE Expo for Syracuse City School District from February 26th through February 28th. Many 8th graders came from all over the Syracuse City Middle Schools. They came to our gym on buses to check out the different tables and stations advertising the many career and technical education programs offered in our district including media communications, P-TECH, culinary automotive, and many more. They have the opportunity to be hands-on and talk to teachers, as well as learning about experiences from current students. Superintendent Contreras came to ITC in March to record her speech right here in our new studio. She was not able to be at Roberts Middle School to give the speech in person, so our tech news team got the opportunity to record it for her. This was a great experience for us. We hope that she comes to us again in the future for another video project. Mrs. Molesky's Studio Art students created many amazing projects throughout the year. One of our personal favorites are these shoe collages made with pieces of color from magazines. The shoes are meant to express personality and perseverance. Another favorite are these handmade drawstring book bags. The students use in art techniques they had learned to create a useful object to take pride in. This year, Pat Marsh was only the only Syracuse City School District student to make a high school all-county music group. He performed in a concert in January at West Genesee High School. Congratulations, Pat. Students in Mrs. Fresnito's Forensic Science class teamed up with Mr. Lisi's Digital Photography class and Mr. Newell's Digital Multimedia class for a forensic photo project. The classes worked together on learning techniques on how to photograph a crime scene. The photography students taught the forensic students camera techniques, while the forensic students demonstrated techniques on evidence to collect at a crime scene. Each student produced a video as their final project using video editing software in the Mac Lab. The project was a great opportunity for cross-curricular learning. Members of the ITC senior class spent time sorting and stacking books for the first book campaign that was held at the On Center. 40,000 brand new books were delivered and were available on the first-come, first-served basis for Syracuse area students and families. 
The ITC SLED team raised $108 for the SLED for Red HIV slash AIDS fundraiser. The team came in first place out of 30 SLEDs and got to go tubing after the race for a jolly good time. Mr. Flanders organized his yearly toy sorting field trip to the Island Center. ITC students spent part of their day at the Island Center in downtown Syracuse sorting toys for the Salvation Army's Christmas Borough toy giveaway. Great job, everyone. Here are some photos. ITC students participated in Kick Butts Day activities. Students develop a campaign called I Am Not a Replacement, meaning that tobacco industry targets teens calling them replacements for adults who die from tobacco related illnesses. Ms. Molesi's class made posters, posters and students have the idea to make signs and take photos. The signs are hanging in the school. Now let's send it over to the rest of our tech news team to continue with our ITC year in review broadcast. Thank you, Kadir. And now for more of your ITC Year in Review broadcast. ITC has participated in the Days of Silence this year. Many youth were, who are identified as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or questioning are routine, routinely subjected to name-calling, bullying, and other forms of harassment. The Day of Silence is a student effort to protest harassment, discrimination, and hate. This was an important day for all students to take steps towards making our school a better place. On April 25th, an earthquake killed more than 7,000 people. ITC ran a bottle and can drive to raise money to help Nepal. According to Ms. Soban, we collected over 5,700 bottles and cans. Her students spent the entire day collecting these bottles and cans, as, as well as money from people who wanted to donate. Altogether, we were able to raise $700 for Nepal. Members of Mr. Sahowski's ITC Book Club traveled to Rochester Team Book Fest at Nazareth College to meet many of the popular young adult authors of the books that they have been reading all year. They attended author workshops and they had many of their books signed. ITC students were treated to a, a spirited pep rally this fall. Mr. Fontelli and Ms. Hazen energetically introduced all the athletes and Ms. Lopez and Ms. Crawford shared the results of the election of class officers. The crowd was treated to performances from our ITC cheerleading team and a video presentation by the students from the 11th grade digital multimedia class. ITC Eagles football team finished their season with a record of 6-2 and two, and we finished 8th in Class C. Our team played great all year and our defense gave up less than 6 points per game and 5 straight wins. Some of our star players were Ludie Allen, Josh Holmes, Jordan Tierney, Tyler Carbonaro, and Keenan Scott. We ended up losing to Utica Notre Dame in the sectional playoffs. The ITC Eagles boys basketball team finished their season with a record of 16-5. We made it to the second round of the playoffs before losing to our rival SAS. Junior James Walker led the team in points with 298 and rebounds with 131, while senior Matt Dixon led the team in assists with 60. Here are two highlight videos from this season, one of DJ Weber's dunk against West Hill and Matt Dixon hitting a game-winning shot against Casanova. ITC cheerleaders had a great season cheering for football and basketball, as well as in their competitions. Hi, we are the ITC Varsity Cheerleaders, and Friday Night Fever is coming up next. The ITC chess team took first place overall in the first, first ever ITC chess interventional. The team played great together and had a great time competing and seeing all of their hard work paying off. Individual honors went to Ephraim Cruz, third place individual, and Trang Nago and Keegan Foster tied for fourth place. Team members who played at the International were Ephraim Cruz, Trang Nog, Tay Nuog, Charles Hunter, Yasin Witted, Keegan Foster, Ruben El Cinero. The ITC chess team would continue competing throughout the year with multiple wins at Pops Media Cafe. 
Three teams from ITC took part in the 2015 Second Me Mousetrap Car Competition at Syracuse University on Saturday, April 25th. Students had to design and build a car using a mousetrap that would travel the longest distance. In addition, each team had to write a technical report and drawing of their design. ITC won first place, second place, and fourth place overall in the high school division. Congratulations to Fung Nguyen and Trang Nguyen, Trang Nguyen for winning first place. ITC students competed in the Avirathon 2015 that was held at Highland Forest. Here are photos from the event. Did you know that the ITC students went to Rosamond Gifford Zoo? Students in the ITC OCC photography class went to the zoo to enter a photo competition. Students had a great time and took many photos of the animals. Many successful photographs were taken. Here is a look at some of the photos. ITC 11th grader Jadia Perry is one of the four recipients of the Youth Peace Award 2015. Her work as a co-president of the ITC Gay Straight Alliance member of the Teen Institute Leadership Team, girl ambassador from the Matilda Joseph Gage Foundations and leader for the Seeds of Peace program, was recognized and appreciated. JD is a student who does not hesitate to interrupt bullying when she encounters it and who stands up for the rights of all humans to have a good, decent life. Congratulations to JD. Nari Balam McGriff is a three sport star at ITC who overcomes many obstacles in pursuit of her goals. She won Time Warner's Sports Scholar Athlete of the Week this year. Here's a look at the news package produced by Time Warner on Nari. Hi, my name is Nari Balam McGriff. I'm a senior at Central Tech in Syracuse. This spring, I do outdoor track. And in track, I do shot put, 4x1, the 100 meter dash, long jump, and sometimes triple jump. And fall, I do volleyball, which I'm a, I play the barrel. And in, in the winter, I do bowling. I have to say volleyball because I like the fast pace of it. I love diving. It's kind of fun. Well, my favorite class in school is probably a math class because I just love messing with numbers. I want to be in accounting, and I'd rather work for the Department of Treasury. She's a, a free sport athlete, taking college courses, taking regular high school courses, courses, volunteering in a variety of areas, and then the poor kid gets vertigo in the winter during bowling season, but still comes to all of our matches and helps out. The college course at OCC, it's kind of, it's a new experience because you can always, you experience the new college life, what it'll be like, the classes, the homework, the quizzes. Professors don't remind you of what is coming up. You have to look at your syllabus to know what you need, what is due. And it's just like a new experience. Outside of school and sports, I do Mills on Wheels, which I deliver meals to the elderly people who can't get their food. I feel like it, talking to them makes me feel happy because they, they don't really see a lot of people. You experience something new with them, and then they, they're always happy when they see new people. And I do go to church, which I read the announcement. I usher, do offerings for who anybody who, who can't do it. Next year, I'll be going to Delaware State in the fall, which I will major in accounting. ITC seniors went on a trip to Six Flags Great Escape on May 29th. Over 40 seniors went on the trip. ITC held its academic awards night on June 3rd in ITC's gym. Students grab grades 9 through 12 receive recognition for all their hard work and are many different departments throughout the year. Congratulations to all the students who won awards. Hope you guys are excited about prom. Prom will take, will take place tomorrow, June 12th, from 7 to 11 at Doubles tree hotels grand ballroom itc's graduate graduation will be held at suny esf on june 26 at 6 p.m if the weather doesn't hold up on that day graduation will could be moved to itc gymnasium that's it for our tech news year in review we would like to wish the graduating class of 2015 the best of luck in the future thanks for tuning in to tech news all year long we will see you next time for more news from the institute of technology at syracuse central